Hello again, this is part one of our Lipids Foundation series and we are gonna discuss structure. <sighs> to begin, let's first define what lipids are. And we're gonna take a rather chemical definition. So lipids are compounds that are soluble in organic solvents. So these are com uh, solvents like acetone, ether, or chloroform. And they are insoluble in water. Now, this is especially relevant for us physiologically because water is the solvent of humans, of animals. So the inside of our cells, the cytoplasm is water-based, our blood is water-based, all of the interstitial fluid is water-based. And so this characteristic of lipids being hydrophobic or insoluble in water makes it so that lipids require very specialized processes for digestion, absorption, transport, and storage within our water-based bodies. And so over here, we see a nice example of this. We see some olive oil mixed with some balsamic vinegar. The balsamic vinegar is uh, water, is water-based, water-soluble, and so we see that they, whoops, and so we see that they don't mix together very well. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the actual structure of our lipids. We're gonna start with single molecules. So the most basic structure in lipids are the fatty acid. And so we see one example of a fatty acid over here. The characteristics of a fatty acid are that it is a hydrocarbon tail. So it has a tail that is made up of just carbons and hydrogens, so hydrocarbon tail. Um, and then on the end, we have a carboxyl group, and that's what makes it an acid. So we have this fatty hydrocarbon tail and a carboxyl group making it a fatty acid. Now, this is a typical way of uh, chemically representing what a fatty acid looks like. Um, so each of these points is representing an individual carbon. Remember that each of those carbons is going to be bound with hydrogens. And so in this ball and stick model over here, we can see that a little bit more clearly. So each carbon is represented by a black ball. The hydrogens are represented as the gray ball. And so we can see that in the places where we have single bonds in between the carbons, that each uh, carbon is also bound to two hydrogens to make up the four bonds that carbon can make. Um, now what we can also notice here is that the, there can be uh, double bonds in, between the carbons in our fatty acid tail. And so we see those represented over here like this with these two lines. When we look at it in the ball and stick model, what becomes apparent is that having a fatty acid causes a kink in the structure of the tail. And that's gonna be important for how um, lipids function within this particular structure. So those are our fatty acids. The other large category of lipids are the sterols. And sterols have a really different structure compared to the fatty acids. So sterols will have this ring-like structure. This is called a steroid nucleus. And then they will have a hydrocarbon tail attached to one end. Now in animals, the primary uh, sterol is called cholesterol. And that is what we see pictured here. Um, and cholesterol is, ends up being a precursor for many other compounds within animals, as well as it's an important um, compound in its own right as cholesterol. Plants, however, do not make cholesterol. Plants make another similar category of lipids that also have this same type of um, ring-like structure. So they make different kinds of sterols that collectively we can call phytosterols. So phytosterols are made by plants, plants do not make cholesterol. And so that extending that further, that means that plant food does not have cholesterol in it. We only get dietary cholesterol from animal products. 